Hi, I'm Emily Muehlstein, and this is a presentation on the framework action addressing the 2013 red snapper quotas and recreational bag limit. A framework action is a standard and quick way to implement management measures that have already been included into a fisheries management plan. You can see over on this flowchart on the left, those light blue boxes indicate times when the council asked the public to contribute their opinion on the matter. Right now we're at that public comment phase right before the council takes final action in February. There are two different issues being addressed in this framework. The first is the commercial and recreational quota that must be set for 2013. The second is that red snapper recreational fishing season has become progressively shorter since 2008, and the council's considering reducing the bag limit in order to increase the number of fishing days. So starting with action one, the 2013 quotas, the recreational sector exceeded their 2012 quota by an estimated 1,800,000 pounds. Now that's a preliminary estimate and still requires some finalization. There's a rule that states if the 2012 acceptable biological catch is exceeded, then the acceptable bi biological catch for 2013 must remain at 2012 levels, unless the best available scientific information determines that that's unnecessary. So the Council of Scientific Advisors, the Scientific and Statistical Committee, reviewed the 2012 overage and determined that the acceptable biological catch could be increased, but not by as much as was previously scheduled. So in 2012, the acceptable biological catch was set at 8,080,000 pounds. The scheduled increase for 2013 would have given us 8,690,000 pounds, and the Scientific and Statistical Committee after reviewing the overage, determined that the new acceptable biological catch from 2013 could be 8,460,000 pounds. Now keep in mind as we move forward that the commercial sector is allocated 51% of the red snapper quota and recreational allocation is 49% of the red snapper quota. So there are a number of different alternatives for action one. The first alternative is the no action alternative. That would keep the acceptable biological catch at the 2012 level, which is 8,080,000 pounds, and you can see the commercial and recreational quotas that would result from that. And then the second alternative would use the newly recommended acceptable biological catch, which is 8,460,000 pounds, to determine the commercial and recreational quotas. The third alternative would be to use the newly recommended acceptable biological catch and to reduce the sector allocations based on the Council's annual catch limit and annual catch target control rule. So that would leave the commercial quota at 51%, but it reduces the recreational quota's 49% of the allocation by 20%, which is a buffer put in place by that control rule. The second action the Council is addressing in this framework is the bag limit for recreational fishing. The current recreational red snapper bag limit is two fish per person per day. The 2012 season was set for 40 days and it was increased six days due to severe weather. For five out of the past six years, the recreational quota has been exceeded. The one year it was not exceeded was the year of the oil spill, which was 2010. So this figure shows the average number of red snapper that are landed per angler trip. Now you'll notice that it shows one to one and a half fish, and the assumption here is not that a half a fish is being caught in any case. It's that to calculate red snapper landed per angler trip, you divide the number of fish caught by the number of people on the boat. So in some cases, not all anglers catch their two red snapper bag limits. So reductions that may happen in bag limit will not necessarily result in equal increases in season length, meaning if you reduce the bag limit by half, you're not necessarily going to double the number of days that the season is open. So we'll look a little bit more specifically at the alternatives for this action. The first alternative is the no action alternative, and that would keep the bag limit at two fish per person. The second alternative would create a one fish per angler daily bag limit, and that would represent nearly 60% increase in season length. So if we use the 40-day season as a hypothetical example, 
and you increase it by the 60% by dropping down to a one fish per person bag limit, that would give us approximately 64 days to fish. Now the third alternative would create a one fish per two angler daily bag limit. Now that would allow for a approximately 169% increase in the season, season length. Again, using that 40 day season as an example, with a 169% increase, there'd be an estimated 107 days of fishing if you go to a one fish for two angler daily bag limit. Now, as you consider this alternative, please keep in mind that it was calculated by rounding up. So one angler would not be able to retain a fish. There would have to be two anglers on board. Similarly, three anglers would have a one fish on board limit. And then once you get to four anglers, you could have two fish on the boat. So the council really wants to hear from you and know what you have to say about the actions and the alternatives that are being proposed. Please submit your comments by January 29th, 2013, so that the council will have a chance to review them before they make final decisions in February. Uh, if you follow this link, it will take you to an online comment form where you can let us know what you think. If you want to read a little bit more, the full document can be found at this link below. And as always, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you.